1994, uh, there was a Monday night game between Denver and Kansas City. The Kansas City quarterback was Joe Montana. And John Elway drove with a minute and two seconds left in the game, the entire length of the field, down to the eight yard line, threw a pass in the end zone for the go ahead touchdown. As the referee, I called for the ball to put down for the try and I saw my back judge and side judge discussing something in the back. So I said, gee, something must be wrong here. We'd already signaled touchdown and waiting for the try and I walked over and uh, one of the, uh, the back judge, Don Hake, said, you know, I think that receiver went out of the end zone and came back in and caught it and he can't touch the ball until it's touched by someone else. And the other guy was a little bit hesitant. And then someone said, well, there was contact, but Elway was out of the pocket. Well, after all of this discussion, I made the decision that the touchdown was no good. So I stepped out and in front of 90,000 people in Denver, I announced there is no touchdown. There is an illegal touching foul on number so-and-so of Denver and the crowd went berserk, screaming and yelling. And, and I looked to the sideline and Lynn Swan was doing the color. The coach went crazy. Dan Reeves, he was uh, laying on the ground. It was terrible. I looked at uh, Swan and he went like this. They had looked at the replay and we didn't have replay then. And he had stepped out of the end zone and he did come back and not reestablished. And it made me feel that we did exactly what we should have done, even though everybody in the place hated us. I mean, that's what officiating is. Anybody can work a simple game. It's when something happens.